Oh shit, you don't think I will? <clears throat> I'm just doing one. I'm not gonna do all ten. My niece and nephew wanna do one. I'm gonna keep one. So there's at least three. I'll do this one here, that's four. Come on, man, you're supposed to doubt me. I'm waiting for Kyle. Kyle's probably punching drywall right now. <laughs> Bring one to work. Why? You gonna do it? Flashes on. Can you handle this deadly heat? Carolina Reaper. Mouth on fire, short term loss of speech, impaired vision from tears, extreme profanity, and rip. Rip my butthole the next morning. I'll do more of these. I might even buy another pack of them. There's an I Survived banner. I'm waiting for Kyle. Come on, Kyle. <coughs> Kyle's drinking monsters and punching Red Bull. Or drinking monsters and punching drywall. Where you at, Kyle? The Reaper is waiting. Eat it at your own risk. Can I turn the flash off and see if that helps? Ah, uh, you can't see shit. Oh, it's, it, you know it's gonna be hotter than Taco Bell's Reaper Ranch, it has to be. Cause the ghost chips are legit, I mean, for what they are, a commercially available chip, they're, they're, they're good, they're hot, they got heat to them. I'm kinda waiting for uh, Kyle to show up. <clears throat> if I see Kyle's in here, I'll get started. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. Just Kyle said he wanted to watch it. Any last words? Fuck it. Loser where? Oh, it's, it's going to be hotter than Big Red. You can bet your ass on that. <clears throat> hey, Katie, go get Kyle. Can I, how do I invite people from this? There we go, no. I don't want him in my broadcast. There we go, invite friends. Kyle, come on you fucker. Loser. All right, come on Kyle, hurry up. I know he's online. Man, I don't need no fucking milk. Get out of here. You keep no glass of milk. I survived the Packy One Chip Challenge. Do you dare? Let me um, <clears throat> let me prop this phone up real quick, and then I'll uh, my my light out here on my back patio. It's on a timer, so let me go run over there. Let me go run over there and trip the light again so that it stays on, and then I'll flip this over. Hell yeah, I cuss. So the kid kids is, is not fucking kid friendly. Let me go trip that light real quick to make sure it stays on, and then I'll uh, I'm gonna spin this around real quick. Hang on. All right, let me go trip that light, make sure that light stays on. <clears throat> All right, sitting out back, because it's nice. My wife's inside watching some show. All right, here's the one chip. This is the new one, the black box. 
It's unopened. Alright, we're gonna peel it. There's a little broken piece in there. The chip is black. It smells hot. A little corner piece broke off up here somewhere. Or over here maybe. Right there. Somewhere like that. I'm getting this all over my fingers with no gloves too. I'm going to wipe my ass tonight or rub my eyes or something. It's going to be brutal. Alright, here we go. Ooh. It's got a weird taste to it. It's gone. I got shit all over my fingers now. It's weird. It's got a, um, It's it's got a weird flavor to it. It's um Man, it almost like an ashtray. It kind of tastes shitty. That's weird. I don't know what that is. I'm I've never tasted something like that before. Ooh, a hiccup. Ooh. I'm getting hiccups from it. That's legit. Um, I don't, I don't like that taste. Hiccups, a lot of hiccups. <clears throat> um, doesn't have any aftertaste. It's burning. It's hot. It's um, it's it's almost got like a um. A lot of hiccups. It is hot. It's real hot. That ain't no joke. Um, I don't know. But um, Scott Michael, what what do you think? You're the you're the man. What what's this? What's this n nasty taste? Oh, it's hot as fuck. It gave me the hiccups. I'm hiccuping from it. You know it's hot. I got this shit all over my fingers. That's stupid. Yeah, it's it's hot as fuck. Um, I think the hiccups are gone now. Uh, my tongue and teeth, they're a little bit hot. It's more in the back now. It's in the back of my throat. The back of my tongue. Uh, I mean, it could be an extract, but I don't, I'm not getting that metallic taste from it. Typically when, when I'm dealing with an extract, I got some kind of, a like that, that metallic taste, that artificial taste in my mouth. I don't get that. It's like the taste of the chip. It almost had like an ashy or like a, like almost a burnt, like a burnt flavor to it. Like if you charcoal some food, like some charred food. Not a not a fan of the flavor. It's hot as fuck though. The, in the flavor, it's not an aftertaste either. It's pretty much gone at this point. Um, no, it's Carolina Reaper. It's uh, I don't know if I can read this in the dark or not. Um, the ingredients are blue corn, sunflower, safflower oil, Carolina Reaper peppers, scorpion chili peppers, sea salt, activated charcoal powder. Chipotle pepper powder. Activated charcoal powder. That's what it is. <clears throat> That's exactly it. Activated charcoal powder. It it has a um like a burnt, not a burnt, just like a charred taste to it. Um up front heat's gone. Everything up front's gone. 
the limp the lips aren't tingling the 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 mouth isn't numb it's all on the back half of the tongue and down the throat like the tonsil area um what are the what's the the adenoids come on doctor help me out here the adenoids back there or something um no it's it's not bad the heat goes away fairly quick you know the initial upfront goes away quick you get a little linger on the back um my hiccups are gone at this point my eyes are watering a little bit you probably can't see it because it's dark out adenoids there you go see i know my shit um the 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 eyes are watering a little bit i'm not sweating at all not not sweating one bit from it it's hot i would say doing four or five of those would be a legit challenge um Oh, come on, man. You got a higher than one out of ten tolerance. I've seen some of the stuff you eat. I don't think I don't know if you'll like the flavor, though. I don't that the flavor wasn't that good. The chip itself, it wasn't stale. They just shit. I ordered it last week when they went on sale on Friday. Um, it shipped yesterday and I got it today. I'm in Ohio and it came from a warehouse in Pennsylvania. So it got here fairly quick. The chips fresh. Um, yeah, it's. I, I just didn't like that flavor. I'll keep coming back to that flavor because I can't get over it. It doesn't linger. It doesn't hang around. The heat's still lingering. Um, my mouth overall, the heat's pretty much dissipated. It's just all on the back. It's in the back of the throat now, um, the back of the tongue. It's, um, it's definitely a hot chip, though. That's no joke. The neighbor said what I say about we were great for yeah i agree it's, it's got a damn good heat level to it um a big up front heat big big up front heat like that first little bite and then once that pepper powder i i mean i probably could eat four it's not something i really want to do now at 8 45 at night um i still got to go take the dog for a couple mile walk through the neighborhood i don't really want to be thinking i'm gonna puke while i'm walking in front of somebody's house I salivate real bad, so I you'll I'll be I have to spit. That's just I salivate real bad. Um, no, I can I can say that I, I get to hold the sign up. I survived. It was a lot hotter than I expected it to be. Um, the the flavor sucked. The heat is legit. It's real heat. Um, I cannot compare it to the previous version. I have one, but I haven't eaten it. Um, Matt Mister gave it to me and sent me that as a little gift, a little box. Uh, so I just sitting on top of the fridge. I don't plan on eating it. That's one of these is going to go up there with that one. But um, that's it. I mean, it's, it's legit. It's legit heat. The heat is straight on it. It comes in hot. It comes in fast. Um, I mean, it, not it's it's one chip. I can't really say too much about one chip. It was like doing a death nut challenge. You got to chew a. Um, Oh, hey, there's a uh, YouTube pop-up from um, L.A. Beast. Um, L.A. Beast just released a video. Um, like, compared to the one chip, or the, not the one chip challenge, the death nut challenge, the original death nut challenge, you've got to chew the peanuts. Sometimes it's just one peanut for a minute and a half. That's, like, what can you say or do? It's chewing a peanut for a minute and a half. This is one chip. Um, it is very hot, though. I would say that if you... Um, don't have much of a tolerance or you're unsure about yourself maybe not do it um sinuses a little bit mine's just more in my mouth i mean a little bit my nose isn't really running real bad um my nose ran real bad from that valhalla sausage nothing compared to i mean nothing compared to that this is this is mild um and again, it's, it's one chip. Once you chew it up and it's gone, you're going to have a little bit of lingering from the heat, but it's not anything that's going to stick. And ben was... I have never tried a tube of tear. I had to figure out what the hell a one or two top tube of tear. Half a tube of tear. I've never done a tube of tear, and I've not done the Death Nut Challenge 2, so I, I'm not familiar with how hot that is. I know it's pure cap, which is like, what, 13 million? pure cap crystals um so i don't know i'm sure that's brutal i see that fucking light turned out uh, 
yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, half a tube of tear. I, I mean, I'm imagining it's probably pretty bad. <laughs> There's how many how many nuts are in a tube of tear? How many how many nuts are in one tube? I've got a little bit of a um tube third thirty ish in a tube. That's I thought it was somewhere around there. Um it, my hottest thing that I can compare anything to is the Valhalla. That Valhalla was the hottest thing I've had in my life, hands down. To eat a pound of sausage that is that ungodly fucking hot, that's that was brutal. That's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Um, like I said, I haven't done a tube of terror, and I haven't done a death nut death nut challenge 2.0, so I can't I can't compare those. But for me, strictly speaking, the hottest I've done is the Valhalla, and that was brutal. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of a um, like a kind of a cooling feeling on my tongue, almost that metallic, so I'm wondering if there's some extract in there. It doesn't list extract, but I'm wondering if they maybe use some kind of an extract in there, maybe to hold the powder on or something, because I'm starting to get a little bit of a um, half a holla for breakfast, half a holla for lunch, two a tear is way hotter. So see, what about if you did the Valhalla the whole thing though? I mean, that's that's pretty hot. My nose is starting to run a little bit. Um, to do the whole thing, to do that one pound, and there's Kyle, you fucker. Did you finish your monster? I'm already done now. You have to watch this when it plays back. There's the empty packet. There's the tear strip, the box. Kyle shows up 20 minutes later. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do a tube of terror. I don't know. I feel like I should do the death nut challenge too before I do the tube of terror, just to see how that is. I had no problem with the death nut challenge one. The original death nut challenge aced it. Nothing to it. Um, there, there was nothing to the original death nut challenge. I know the second one's obviously going to be a lot hotter. Um, I have have a. Uh, I'm having a stroke. Not really. Don't call it med medics. Um, I have had a Moab bar. I've had some of a Moab bar. That thing was pretty hot. Did I boff it? No, you know I did. Of course. I boffed three of them. I ate one. I boffed the other three. Um, I Part of a Moab bar. I thought the... Um, I thought that the... Uh, the final 2.0 nut was what the tube of terror like it was a tube full of the 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 final nuts from the 2.0 i thought that was i mean i trust you you're saying it. i trust you i believe you that was just my impression i thought it was the the tube full of the 2.0 final nut um, but i feel like i should do the 2.0 before i do the tube of terror i don't know if i could do the tube of terror though i probably could i don't know did you do the uh death nut too have you done a 2.0 before? Or did you do the original at all? What up, B? Oh, shit, that bad, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll do a tube of terror one day. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, uh, I'd have to work on my tolerance a little bit for that. Tell you what, I ate a ghost pepper the other morning. Last Friday, I picked a fresh ghost. And, uh... That was hotter than what I expected it would be. I don't know if it's just I wasn't ready for it. I hadn't eaten anything yet. It was like 10 and 11 in the morning. I hadn't eaten breakfast or anything. I got up, picked a fresh ghost pepper, and ate it. Um, that was pretty hot. I, my, none of my Reapers, I'd do a Reaper if they were ready. I don't have any of my Reapers. They're all still green. Uh, I see alerts going off. I don't know. Maybe I'll order a tube. Maybe I'll grab a tube. I feel like I need to work on my tolerance some more. Um, I eat hot stuff pretty regularly. I think most people eat a lot hotter stuff more regularly than me, but I hold my own. Have I smoked anything lately? No, I haven't. <laughs> nice Luger. Luger like Lex. Um, no, I haven't smoked anything lately. Uh, I haven't smoked anything. I don't smoke. I'm not a smoker. I got enough fucking issues. I don't need my lungs filled with smoke. Um, no, I'll have to look into the tuba tear. Maybe I'll pick one of those up. 
I got a, I got several bottles of tincture that I've had from um, Boston Ballistic from David Flip. Uh, I tried his. I did a video when I got them. I didn't do a video when I was trying them. Those, those were all pretty good. Oh fuck! Damn, I'm sorry. Smoked meats. Um, no, I don't believe I have smoked anything recently. It's been a while. Um, what was the last thing I did? I'm trying to think. Um, shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what the last thing I smoked was. Oh, I did. Um, I did I did some ribs? I did some ribs a couple weeks ago. I did. So I forgot about that. I did some ribs. We tried to do something the other night on the. <laughs> The uh, the big smoker over here behind me, the bull. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. Let's do that. Let's turn this on. Flip that around. All right, the big smoker, the bull. I don't usually cook hot and fast on that. I do um, I do the uh, slow and slow and long cooks on that. And then uh, normally I do the hot and fast on the trailblazer over there, the small smoker. So the other day we were gonna cook. Um, Shit, what were we gonna cook? Oh, we were making, um, it's in, uh, my nose is running. Um, uh, Asian dump pan uh, meal for lunches. Um, take some vegetables, um, some sliced up steak, kind of give it a little bit of marinade and seasoning, you know, like some green peppers, onions, just put everything on a giant sheet pan and put it in the oven and just kind of bake it till it's all set. Um, we were gonna do that on the smoker, but you cook it a little bit higher temp. Well, because I only do low and slow on the big smoker, I had a bunch of grease and a bunch of fat and stuff coagulated onto the drip drip pan. And when we had the smoker turned up, it was up to like 450. Um, I was upstairs doing some stuff. My wife's like, hey, uh, the smoker's on fire. I was like, fuck, turn it off. So I had to come downstairs and throw some baking powder or baking soda in there. So I got to clean the big smoker out. Um, 49 hours and steel Sunday. What's good? Uh, Steelers going to take that L. You know how it is, B. You know how they do it. Big Ben out for the season. That's crucial. That hurts you guys a lot. Um, but, yeah, the smoker caught on fire. Had a little grease fire in there. I had to put out. So I need to clean it out. Um, I don't know. I'll do, I'll do something here shortly. I'm not sure what or when, but I'll do something. Um, let's see. It's uh, 8.56. I'm definitely past any time limit I needed to hit. Um, so, again, I'm going to hold this up. I survived. I survived. Do you dare? Uh, I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to take a little video of the pepper plants out here. Um, I just picked a couple goose. A couple goose. Jesus, I'm trying to read people's texts. And, um, I picked a couple ghosts earlier today. That was all I had ripe. So, I'm going to do a little shoot here around with the um, pepper plants. And then that's going to be it. I got to take the dog for a walk and uh, get some... Uh, Get some some movement in for the day. All right, let me turn this around here. All right, the pepper plants. Everybody should know the drill by now. These are the habaneros. Got plenty, plenty of good peppers on them. They're just not turning. I'm afraid they're not gonna turn before it starts getting too cold out. That's a habanero. Here's my ghosts. Plenty of ghosts. See them all in there. I don't want to disturb these too much. I got a couple praying mantises that are living out here on them. Peach ghosts. Again, good, good qualities. I just need them to get them to start turning. I got peach ghosts back here. And then the reapers. Tons of reapers. Got some funky shaped phenos in there. Got some little baby tails. I got some wicked looking ones. A couple tails up front. Let's see if I can get around the back side. Here's the, uh, that's probably the biggest one I've got right there. little two finger two and a half finger got some on the back side here a nice little tail here so that's uh <clears throat> that's the pepper plants and that's the uh one chip challenge and i think that's gonna light my niece and nephew up when they do it with me